So just a quick update. This is the uh, the new Tesla. Um, it's all washed and prepped now. Um, and um, Kaz has just got the inspection torch there. Um, we're just looking for some defects. We found quite a few. Um, now, as I said uh, previously, the, um, the car is very, very soft paint. Literally touch this with the wrong type of cloth, you will leave a mark on it. That's how soft it is. Um, but um, so it can be forgiven the odd little tiny, you know, hairline mark on there where it's been washed. Um, and, you know, overall, I don't know if you can see, uh, it's overall in a good condition. Um, and it's been washed at least twice, once by the dealer, once by us. Um, um, you know, when we wash, we, we follow all the right methods. We, um, we use two buckets, we pre-wash first. Uh, we've used filtered water on this and we blow dried it. Um, so it keeps contact to an absolute minimum. Um, but if you can see on here, there, suddenly, there's this great big round sort of mark there, which has obviously had, I don't know, it's been rubbed too hard I expect with something really simple like a, a dry cloth um, a nasty mark right here, and there's it? a nasty mark on the other side as well um, but um, there's a quite a few places you can see again you can just see the reflection of the torch there on certain areas um, there's a few quite a few scratches on the boot and there um, and there's some uh, some scratches down here as well so there's a scratch there, um, and there, and this side is quite bad. You can see there's a quite a bad scratch there as well, and there as well. So yeah, there's quite a few marks on here. Um, now, like I say, if you weren't going over this with a torch like I am, this is um, inspection light that's just made, designed for this. Um, you wouldn't see them normally unless it was in the sun um, then you might spot them but um but this really is a difference um there's another round circle here bizarrely you can see that i don't know why they are like that i find them a lot on teslas actually i find these sort of weird round circles a bit like crop circles but on teslas um there's a, a line going all the way along there as well before it gets to there um and a bit of a scratch there as well so um yeah that's really the difference in our prep to uh to maybe what a dealer might do before applying the coating on a new car you, you know you wouldn't expect to find so scratches and marks the coating would, if, if it was a dealership you know, straight away absolutely yeah and that'll be soon and this is having a five-year coating so we don't really want to seal in the scratches for the next five years, do we, Carrie? No. No. Okie dokie. Right, I need to get on because I've got a lot of uh, polishing to do. Anything to add? Okay. No. Bye-bye.